Hello! Welcome to another exciting adventure of Dad's Train Room! This time, we're going on the road, and we're going to go see what is probably the most fantastic train layout that you can imagine. Speaking of imagination, try this one. Imagine you want the most awesome train layout ever, and money is no object. But imagine you want to think big. I mean, even bigger than G-Scale. Think full-sized. Also think, instead of putting little toy buildings in there, maybe I want the real thing. Well, there was a gentleman that actually did such a thing. His name was Henry Ford. And he built this place called Greenfield Village up in Dearborn, Michigan. This is a fantastic place. And this episode is all about talking with the people that run the trains there. I hope you enjoy it. The number three of the Calumet Hecla Mining Company steam locomotive that we have at Greenfield Village was built in 1873. It's the oldest operating steam locomotive in the country today. It was built by the Mason Machine Works in Taunton, Massachusetts. They built about 740, 750 steam locomotives in their day. There's only two left in existence. There's a 440 in the Smithsonian Institution, and we have this locomotive here that does operate. Now, Mason, their claim to fame in steam locomotives was that they put their boilers on a cradle so the boiler could move back and forth on a cradle. And that was perfect for a mining company who had very poor trackage. They didn't put a lot of money or effort into their tracks. They had a lot of tight turns, a lot of steep grades. This was the perfect locomotive for that. To so help keep it from sloshing as much. It, well, you got around those really tight turns because the, the boiler would move back and forth. Kind of like an articulated mo locomotive, but even better. It's wonderful. Now the fellows that operate this, this does this does run. They'll keep it hot for 30 days at a time. And then they have to take it out of service for a mandatory boiler wash. And then they'll change locomotives and run something else. I talked to the guys that run this locomotive and they said, well, we spend about half the time trying to keep it from getting away from us. Because it's a very, very powerful little steam motor. It weighs about 45 tons. And, uh, pardon me, it weighs about 35 tons. The one running today is 40. So, and that's number seven that's running, that's today. running today. That locomotive was Henry Ford's personal locomotive in the 1920s. And if you've been upstairs here in the roundhouse, there's a picture of Henry Ford standing in that very, the cab of that very locomotive. We did a full boiler off restoration on that locomotive about uh, seven, eight years ago. And uh, we've been running here ever since. It took them about eight years to restore it. That's wonderful. Thank you, John. I could go on and on. I'll give you an hour. I'll yeah. give you a week. Is this a four? our working roundhouse. It's a recreation of the 1884 roundhouse that once stood in Marshall, Michigan, 100 miles to our west. We use this for its original purpose. We do maintenance and inspection of steam engines every day in here. The ones that run in Greenfield Village during the day come in here at night to have that maintenance work performed. We used to have as many as 10,000 roundhouses across the country. We estimate there's maybe a dozen left in operation today. Does it this is one of those working roundhouses. Does it take a lot of maintenance to keep one running for the park? Well, daily maintenance was uh, the routine in the steam era. Uh, cleaning, oiling, checking things to make sure they're tight, using a brass hammer to tap nuts and bolts and rivets to make sure nothing is cracked or loose. Uh, they can tell by the ring sound of the metal if something is wrong with the fastener. So that's the routine. If they find something out of the ordinary wrong, your job is to fix it, uh, make a new part if necessary, or repair it so that locomotive can be used the next day. 
if they don't find anything wrong, how long does the daily maintenance take normally? They can do it uh, depending on how many guys work on it in uh, in 40 minutes to an hour is normal. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Here at the Roundhouse in Greenfield Village, you can actually go underneath the trains and see what the underside of the train actually looks like from a maintenance point of view. All nice and safe. Okay. It's really hot. <laughs> I should have brought out a towel. That's one of the reasons why I'm not using the demonstration today at this afternoon time. Can I help? I would appreciate the help, but because the rails are not, um, these rails are not covered with gravel. Um, I understand. Thank you. So this is something that works better with two people. Two younger people. <laughs> there you go. When they have a locomotive on here, uh, like the one that's out there, the Baldwin, it weighs 60 tons with the car on the back of it. Uh, it takes at least two people to move it, to, huh? to push it. I see. It's, it's pretty hard. Everybody smile. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Jim. Hi, Jim. Nice to meet you. You are? I'm Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. Or Dad on Dad's Trainer. Ah. Jim is a professional conductor at Greenfield Village and he operates this train. 
What's it like? You know, it's a lot of fun. We get a lot of different people from all over the world and closer to home as well. Uh, it's fun to tell the story of Greenfield Village uh, from a conductor's viewpoint on the back of the train. It's fun to chat with some of the kids that are just so overwhelmed and, you know, almost speechless sometimes at the machinery and, and some of the other aspects of the train. Uh, it's really a great place to work and a great place to entertain people. Now, this is an actual steam engine. This, is, this isn't this is one of the diesel powered that one of the... Uh... No, it's not oil burner or diesel powered. It actually uh, is a coal burning uh, engine uh, built in 1897 as a Baldwin locomotive uh, built in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. One of three coal-fired steam-powered locomotives that we use here on our railroad. And for anybody who's never been, Greenfield Village is located just north of Detroit, Michigan, and it is literally slices of history all put together so that you can see what things were like and see how things were done. We tell the history of uh, this country and a, a couple other people that have uh, added to our history uh, of a 300-year period. That is just awesome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, it. Jason, and uh, enjoy. Thank you. enjoyed going through Greenfield Village and all the trains there but Greenfield Village is so much more it is a living museum of American history Henry Ford went out and he got historic buildings and brought them here so that people could learn about who we are and how we did things for example you can walk through the Wright Brothers workshop the Wright Brothers that flew the first plane workshop and see some of their original models and how they calculated out their warped wing design. So much more. I've given you a small slice of what this place has to offer, but in reality, I wanted to give you just enough to go and experience it for yourself. That's the best way. You can spend all day there and just get a small bit of how much it actually has to offer. It's fascinating and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.